Well, with the war in Ukraine expected to drag on for months and with casualties adding up by the day, President Joe Biden is being asked to set up field hospitals in Poland near Ukraine's border. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, more than a dozen U.S. lawmakers on both sides of the political aisle are making that request of President Joe Biden tonight. This says terrible images of war arrive on TV and computer screens virtually nonstop. You know, our forests are our planet's lungs. They literally are recycling and cycling CO2 out of the atmosphere. That's what they do. President Joe Biden issues an executive order on this Earth Day protecting old growth trees from wildfires. <laughs> Meantime, across the globe, Russia releasing video of its missile launches against targets in Ukraine from a ship in the Black Sea. Russia says talks to end the fighting in Ukraine have ground to a halt. What we would tell you this morning is that we still assess that Mariupol is contested, that it hasn't been taken by the Russians, and that there's still an active Ukrainian resistance. So they continue to fight for that city. As the horrors of war continue to unfold in Ukraine, some U.S. lawmakers are asking Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to ramp up to increase medical support in the form of field hospitals, armored ambulances, and to treat the wounded, the injured, at a U.S. military hospital in Germany. On Twitter, South Carolina Congressman Joe Wilson tweeting, grateful to join bipartisan colleagues requesting Secretaries Blinken and Austin for medical health care aid to Ukrainian people. It's essential we address Ukraine's growing humanitarian needs. The Pentagon emphasized no U.S. troops will be on the ground in Ukraine, but added the U.S. will do this continue to flow weapons and systems uh, to the Ukrainians that will help them in this fight now, now, that is now brewing in the east. Now, also tonight, President Biden will be spending the weekend in Delaware. And then next week, President Biden welcomes to the White House the champion NHL Tampa Bay Lightning. And he'll also be honoring some teachers of the year. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.